Hi, I'm Sumiko Murugai Nanda and I'm here today to bring you a series on photography with art etc. So I've been doing photography now for over two decades now and most of my work, uh, commercial work at least, used to be fashion and people. And under the umbrella of people came street because it's a wide umbrella and covers many things. So I started doing street uh, since about seven years. Uh, and I would say that I started because up till then I was of course shooting because I was just shooting just about everything that inspired me and I liked. But it was only a few years ago that I actually started doing a serious study of the streets. And um, I say streets and I say serious study because I feel that the streets are a window to actually look into a culture of a country, of a city, of a place. And it really gives you a peep into the pulse of a place truly. So along with art, etc. now, uh, we're bringing you a little series on my street work, on how I have traveled to different places and noticed and observed and captured the streets. Uh, my first one, my first episode that I, uh, I want to share with you is on Vietnam. So Vietnam was absolutely full of surprises. And I actually went there to tell you the honest truth with very little expectation. So visually, I didn't uh, really know what to expect. But yes, I'd read about it and prepared myself to, uh, to a certain extent. So I knew the culture, etc. And uh, growing years, one had read so much about the war, etc. But um, I just allowed myself to be disarmed. And boy, I was like really surprised. It, it was just a beautiful experience. So uh, while in Vietnam, I went to uh, three different places. I went to Ho Chi Minh, I went to uh, Hue, and I went to Hoi An. All three were completely different and the fabric of the place was entirely different and uh, I got a very different feel from each of these places. The, the first image that I want to actually discuss with you is uh, something that I took in Ho Chi Minh. And um, it was, I was lucky actually that uh, I happened to be there at a time where Vietnam was actually uh, playing football. They are obsessed with soccer and they were playing against, um, I can't remember now, but there was a match happening and it was just glorious to see the kind of uh, festivity it brought about. So people were shutting their work, leaving from work halfway through the day and getting ready at home with family or whatever, you know. And everybody was getting ready to party on the streets in the evening while the match was going on. And the picture that I have actually taken is about, uh, is basically describing, um, you can see in it, there is a grandson and a grandma and they're on their two-wheeler and they're leaving their workplace. The grandma's wrapped up her shop and the boy is sitting there with the flag and all set to go and have a great time in the evening. So age no bar. But uh, having said that, this picture I thought was nice. It's direct and it really uh, encapsulates the pulse of the moment. The next picture that you're looking at is called Twinning. Uh, I also took this picture in uh, the city of Hoi An. And if you look at it carefully, you'll see that these two ladies are dressed up so similarly. They are wearing similar uh, check shirts. They are um, ca carrying the same kind of basket and they are selling the same kind of fruit. And even the way they are standing is actually very similar. So I found a little symmetry, some sort of symmetry in this image. And that is uh, what kind of drew me to it. And that's why I took this picture. I like this picture very much because this was one of those extremely unexpected images that just sort of happened again on the city, uh, in the city of Hoi An. And I think this lady or this young girl was wandering about, she must have been a photographer, but definitely also a tourist, uh, was wandering about taking pictures and she had this little camera, uh, camera bag slung on her shoulder. And... Uh, while I was also on the streets, I suddenly noticed that she was looking very melancholic and pensive and her camera bag was lying on one side and uh, 
and I took that picture and I think little did she know that uh, she being a photographer had become another photographer's muse. I like this image because it actually depicts Hoi An which is a wonderful city where there are lots of young people, young couples who come on romantic holidays and I think this picture is just all about being happy and uh, this girl was just there feeling completely uh, happy and elated and this her friend or whoever it was with her was just trying to take a picture of that and uh, I I just think that it, it is it's a wonderful lovely picture and you don't always have to show like dark images to depict a place but this is again the pulse of the city of Hoi An it is a happy place with people having fun truly having fun I normally don't like to call or give my images any headings but I when I was looking at it the first thing that actually came to my mind was that the people in the raincoats look like zombies just walking around and um, it, it was just a little weird but uh, the I have to say that street photography is all about capturing the moment and in this place uh, this little touristy place called Hue it's full of ancient tombs and Vietnam has a lot of the most beautiful tombs in the city of Hue and over here it was a very very rainy day and uh, despite the rain and despite the bad weather the tourists were relentless and kept coming and there was a little shop outside from where they all bought their raincoats and they all look similar and um, uh, I also wanted to do a study on the statues per se so uh, you know there's a whole series of the statues that I shot in Hue and uh, the focus you'll see is more on the statue and the people around them uh, are just moving about and I thought this was a different sort of viewpoint of how I looked at the statues of the ancient tombs of Hue. Uh, if you really look at it, you can actually do a study on it to see how much is going on and it actually speaks about the different layers uh, of interaction or, or observation or, or of whatever that is that is going on at that particular moment. And that's the beauty of photography that if you actually look and observe, you can capture sometimes things that may go unnoticed uh, if you're not really looking. Uh, in this, uh, you'll see that there is this lady in the red, all dressed up, and uh, there is a gentleman on the on the left. I don't know whether I should call him gentleman, but yeah, he's on a two wheeler, and he is actually staring at the lady in the red and opposite the lady on the red is um, actually there are these two girls who are looking at the man very disapprovingly and um, the man is looking at the woman in red and so there is there's just so much happening over there and also tells you a little bit about how i guess women are seen all across the world even now so for me it just captured that um, instantly I shot this picture on the night of the Lantern Festival of Hoi An where people float these beautiful paper lanterns into the river and they are actually quite a spectacular sight. And as I was walking around, I sort of stepped into a darker side uh, of the alley where I noticed this very sad old lady looking most stricken and uh, she was selling these paper lamps and uh, in fact it was quite dark and her face was being lit by just some light that was falling from a shop adjacent to her. Um, I sort of found a certain contradiction uh, in the spirit of the moment because I found that on one side there were all these festivities happening with all this brilliance of the lamps and on the other side was this darkness and gloom on this person's face and I am guessing this is how streets showcase uh, contradictions of uh, contradictions in many layers of, of what they present to us I hope you enjoy what Art Etc and I brought to you, which is a part of the series that we will be doing on street photography. Um, I specifically chose street photography at the moment because I thought that it would be nice to do it at the time when uh, we are all under lockdown. And 
uh, yet again and have not been able to travel and uh, go to places that we may have wanted to go uh, for over a year now and this is just a little way of escaping um, the harsh reality of the outside world. I find um, and feel that it's photography has this beauty of being able to con uh, connect you to the communities outside the world and this is why I thought that this will be a nice way for you to actually look forward to the good times that you will have in the future and be able to go and look forward to seeing these wonderful places that um, luckily I have been to and experience the enriching lives that they have and maybe these photographs will just help you understand what they are uh, a little bit more or uh, what the beauty of the place offers to you. Uh, thank you for joining us and there'll be more coming so I hope you will tune in.